photo And love and fake friends, only a couple you should know, ho Just realizing I'm really that nigga when I'm dolo Young entrepreneur, I be snapping like a photo You niggas working hard just to be heard on the promo But I do it for the binges, I ain't fucking with pro bono Working for the free, so what the fuck you spending dough on? Now I ain't a rocket science, but I know that equals so I think, cause I ain't help him out He's trying to get me killed. <clears throat> huh? I got it. There's a creature I haven't seen before. What does it look like? Not a, not a big one. Extremely fast. Probably a bolter. You can find some interesting stuff on them. But catching one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels. That's what they call bolters. Damn, shorty. You slump, slump. That's tough. All right. How am I supposed to get over there? Oh my fucking god! I'm dead as hell. Oh, my goodness. All right. Hmm. Annoying it is.
exciting. I can go down here and break everybody's neck. Let me see. I could do that. That'll break niggas' necks.
in the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the PK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station. Still confused on how to craft those UAV shrooms. Hmm. something new.
I gotta get these damn mushrooms, bro. Look at like a damn fiend. Inhibitor container detected. I could have sworn I seen three. Make all the fucking noise you can. Yeah. <sighs> 
Back up off a real one. What the hell wrong with you? What the hell wrong with you, man? I really don't want to do this myself, but I know they say this is going hard, but I don't want to see it either. And it could be because it's just early. But you know. for the head, baby. Headshots. Damn, I'm out of damn shrooms, boy. I had to go. I'm to fuck around and die. The hack on. I got to the flare. To the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up when you get inside. <sighs> Just want to stay in this life for. Her.
two packs and not a single sick more. <sighs> nah, never mind then. Bye. Wait, show us some of those photos uh, as a preview. I said, now what the hell? January. Three packs. My final offer. What is he talking about? He trying to set me up. Set me up, bro. Set me up. I'm already known, bro. Set Where me up. Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. <laughs> Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look like a renegade. He's awake. Huh. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing? And you managed to forget about the ban on passage. Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory. Damn. Huh? Wait. What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always Lucas is said... dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. Looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. Oh, my damn. Mm. He's trying to kill me. <clears throat> Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. Um, so? Why you hate? What's it like out there these days? When was the last time you were out in the city? Why do you think I killed anyone? Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape to the central loop four days after the murder. Besides, if I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us, even though we protect them. Mm. When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. And then there were that many Damn. fewer survivors. And that many more infected. Stands to reason. 
Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. I haven't heard from them for 10 years. Where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the mm. bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. Hmm. And why should I work with you? You attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. Why can't you investigate on your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can help me. Nobody will talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals, doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you, you're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. Nah, look, we are your only <laughs> chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. So, will you help me? I don't want to get involved in your conflicts. Look, if you have nothing on me, can I get out of here? I won't hold you by force. But remember, cooperation with the peacekeepers can pay off. I think I'm gonna take the approach of not asking anybody for help. I don't want nobody's help. I can't trust none of these niggas. I haven't seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information, and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center, and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our mm. guild master would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. 
Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. Mm-hmm. Hey, hack on. Are you there? Aiden, buddy. Could you're alive. Yeah? I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. Thought you'd be back. Change your mind, did you? Just something I learned on the trail. That you need powerful friends. <coughs> that those who stick to their guns too stubbornly often shoot themselves in the foot. So you want me to find that weapon? A Lazarus. Is that all? Let's call it a test. If you succeed and find the Lazarus, I'll be able to assist you. Look around. Ask in the bazaar. And don't come back empty-handed. Fine. Hmm. Okay. We'll see. Ran to the truck. Maybe he made it. I don't know what that was. First on my glimmer. I don't believe the commander was killed by anyone from the bazaar. Who else would want him dead? Fuck no. Lucas was a real hard ass. Didn't take shit from anyone. Guy like that, bound to have enemies on a low. Let me tell you one thing. If Ader doesn't find Lucas' murderer, Jack Matt will personally hang him by his balls on a branch. Well, Ada sure gained a lot from the commander's death. What are you trying to say? <sighs> nah, nothing. Only that it was because of Lucas's death that Ada was promoted to commander. But you suspect Ada is involved in Lucas's murder? I suspect that if you eavesdrop, you'll get yourself hurt. Or worse. I ain't gotta tell me twice. I hope the kids are alright. Have you been carrying 
seen them for weeks. Oh, it hurts like hell. Corporal Wilczek noticed you already. You must help us. Otherwise, there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Then why won't you let us search your homes, huh? If everyone is so innocent, then there'd be nothing to hide. Keep your brutes away from our homes, Anderson. So you're hiding. Time is running out. Unless it was a uh, hot haircon. <coughs> Why well, was? Let me look at his hands. They didn't hurt you, kid, did they? So, what did they want from you? If you'd been there like you said you'd be, I'm. Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Hato doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's gonna have problems. Ader said he might let me through to the center. If I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wanted me to find Lucas's weapon, the uh, Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. And he believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? So, we just have to find it. I declined. What? Don't want to work for those guys. <laughs> I'm not the military type. Besides, he won't help me until the killer is caught. Then how do you expect to get to the center, huh? One step at a time, kiddo. Step one, find the Lazarus. Shit. I thought you were smarter than that. I'll find another way. Okay, maybe that's good. The PK respects strength. It's the only language they understand. Let's find those damn brass knuckles on our own. That way, Etor will get what he wants, but without taking you for granted. You'll have the upper hand. You'll have to let us through. Now, now you're talking. I know a guy there who trades go. stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. What's his name? Hubert Carbazos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the Half-Ass Hubie and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, I'll try and track him down. You'll see. Finding him will pay off for you. Wow. Go, and love and fake friends, only a couple you should know, ho Just realize when I'm really that nigga when I'm dolo Young entrepreneur, I be snapping like a photo Niggas working hard just to be heard on the promo But I do it for the binges, I ain't fucking with pro bono Working for the free, so what the fuck you spending dough on? Now I ain't a rocket scientist, but I know that equals so broke